Follow. Follow. So, we right have you, the mic, so we have to. All right. So, right when you turn 20, okay. you get judged differently. Okay. So, what's the best thing to do when, right when you turn 20? When you turn 20, you judge differently. What does it mean, you judge differently? Right. Once, once, once you have what first, you first get judged when you're 13 years old as a man, when you're 12 years old as a woman, because according to the Torah, a 12 year old woman is a fully grown woman, even though in today's world, even a 20 year old sometimes is not fully grown. And even though sometimes there's 35 year old guys that are not fully grown mentally, the reality is according to the Torah, your judgment starts at 12 or 13 accordingly. But that judgment changes and the severity changes of that judgment at the age of 20 where there are certain sins that you make before the age of 20 where the judgment is not as severe. It's still a judgment, it's still a punishment, but it's not as severe. But there is an exception. There is an exception that age does not apply to. And unfortunately, it's the most addictive sin in the world. The sin of wasting seed. Wasting seed has no age. Anybody that's wasted seed, no matter what age they were, even before the age of 13, they will get fully judged for it. Which means that anyone with a brain and a belief in HaKadosh Baruch Hu and his Torah will start doing tshuva regardless of what age they are. They don't wait until they're 20. They don't wait until they're 14. They don't wait until they're 40. They simply understand, I have to do better tomorrow. In fact, I have to start doing better today. What could I do today better? So yes, the severity of judgment does change at 20, but it doesn't mean that anything before 20 is insignificant. What should a person do once he arrives at the age of 20? Whatever he did up till now, pick it up a notch. You were learning 15 minutes a day, strike for an hour. You are not so careful with your eyes, you better start getting careful. You are, uh, you know, not so careful with kashrut, get more ca- Point is, pick it up a notch. But in reality, you should pick it up a notch regardless of what age you are. But if you're already approaching closer and closer to that age of 20, then something changes. What is the biggest thing that changes? Is that the punishments for some of the sins start coming to you in this life. Meaning before the age of 20, with the exception of wasting seed, punishments do not come into in this life. But if it's after the age of 20, some of the punishments already come in this world, in this life. So it's better that a person does tshuva, ASAP, regardless of what age they are. But quite frankly, I think that the biggest sin is also the most addictive and the most common that people have, which is the one that we keep mentioning in every shiul, because this is what's relevant to our generation and every generation. And also what the Zohar Kadosh says is the tikkun of the generation. It's the major thing that will bring Mashiach once the generation fixes their brit, once women become modest, once people become a shomer brit, Mashiach can come. And the reason why is because as long as a person continues to waste seed, the full mitzvot that he's doing, all the good that he's doing, he cannot get paid for it because he's wasting it. He's wasting it away. So I know it's hard. I know it's addictive. And the Rambam even says it's the most addictive thing to, to, to have. And that's why I have countless boys from religious homes, non-religious homes, and even non-Jews contact me 24 hours a day, somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 to 450 messages per day. Per day, asking for help. Now, we tried to help, oh Hashem, we have a whole playlist about this topic, but the point being, Rabotai, it doesn't make sense to fill a bucket with priceless water if there's a hole in the bucket. When a person makes big sins, it doesn't make sense. Why? Because if even though you're doing big mitzvot, those big sins is like a hole in the bucket. So it's better off to do tshuva for those big sins, and then la'at la'at also do tshuva for the small ones too.